I hope you're all having a great evening. I'm Mr. Ish. Thank you for joining me. Let's take a giant leap ahead just for the purposes of perhaps this or maybe a few videos and let's look at this concept on forming a differential equation. With the knowledge you have right now with regards to calculus 1, single variable calculus, you can delve into this topic of differential equations. Differential equation is a big part of higher level calculus. And what is exactly a differential equation? It is what I have written here for you, a relationship between a dependent variable. You know what your dependent variables are, they're y. They're generally the variables you see on your y-axis and an independent variable which you know to be x. And lastly, one or more derivatives of y with respect to x, wrt with respect to x. You're looking here at dy over dx, which you know is synonymous with this right there, y prime. If you're seeing an equation and you're seeing y is x, dy or dx, or y primes, you can have second order, three, third order, whatever, then you're looking at a differential equation. Differential equations are important in applications such as the sciences and in engineering. Stand alone or looking at a differential equation, if you're looking at something which has these type of variables, it may mean nothing to you, but in the context of an application or, or a real life physical phenomenon or whatever, biological phenomenon, chemical application, then it does have meaning. If you're looking at something which looks like this, let's just do very hypothetically dy over dx, x squared minus y equals zero. This right here is a differential equation. It was developed from something some expression which happened to have a few constants, one or two constants. Very likely when you're looking at this, you're thinking one constant. Because when you're looking here, you're looking at the order of your differential equation. Your order here is represented by this specific item, which is a single prime. When you're seeing a single prime, you're looking at a first order, then you're looking at a differential equation. A first order differential equation. If you have something which looked like this, which you know would be synonymous with a second order derivative of y with respect to x, then you know you'd be looking at it. A second order differential equation. Anyhow, when you're looking at something like this, you're looking at a first order differential equation by means of what you're seeing here. It had to have come from something, and that something was an expression which had a single constant in it. Anyhow, when you're looking and dealing with differential equations, you can either form differential equations or you can solve a differential equation. Forming a differential equation as I have, what I have right here in my title, or solving a differential equation are two separate activities. They're both hard, but solving a differential equation is harder than forming a differential equation. This right here, however, is a much larger part of the differential equation study versus forming. Many of the differential equations out there have already been formed, but solving a differential equation for a new discovery or a new application or new expression, all of that takes time and it takes practice. It takes a lot of practice and experience to learn how to solve a differential equation. It's not as much hard to form a differential equation. In this specific video, we're looking at the concept of forming a differential equation. Nothing too hard, nothing too out of the ordinary nothing too above our league that we would get overwhelmed. So let's just look at the concept of forming a differential equation. Everything here with regards to perhaps first order, maybe one or two examples with second order, and we'll talk about these things as they come along with each example that we look at. Example number one. Remember, forming a differential equation is different than solving a differential equation. Out of necessity, of whatever it is that you're studying, you may end up having a need to develop a differential equation from an expression you have which has one or more constants. When you eliminate those constants, a differential equation develops. Let's look at something here with a single constant and let's look at something easy. y is equal to, let's just say, kx. If you have something which, in terms of an experiment or whatever it is you're doing, an application, you've developed this expression y equals kx and you have a need to develop a differential equation, how can you go about doing it? You have a variable, a dependent variable, independent variable, and a constant. If you eliminate this constant from this expression, you will develop a first order differential equation. And we can do that in this way, first order differential equation. Why will it be first order? Because you only have one constant. A single constant will give rise to a first order differential equation as it's eliminated. How can you eliminate it? The, what you wanna do, the number of constants you have, that's the number of der derivatives you want to apply. 
I have a single constant, so I want to do a derivative, a single derivative with respect to x. And how will I do that? I'll do dy or dx. When I do a derivative of all of this, you you can think back to kind of what you were looking at implicit differentiation. When I'm doing this, I'm developing a dy or dx over here. And then I'm eliminating the x and I have this left. Remember the derivative of kx or any constant to which an x is applied in terms of derivative is just that constant, the variable disappears. It's nothing more different than basic derivatives here. So you can also write this as y prime is equal to k. So wherever I'm seeing a k, I can do this bit of a substitution. Remember, differential equations require a lot of going back and forth, shuffling, substitution, all of that comes into play. How you know what to do when is all experience and practice. Now I'm going back to my original equation, I have y is equal to y prime x because I've substituted where I have a k, I know k is equal to your first order derivative with respect to x is equal to y prime. So y is equal to y prime x and what I can do over here is take everything or I can take this on the other side, I have y prime x minus y equals zero. And this is a first order differential equation you've developed from this specific expression which had some practical meaning. It had a single constant. Therefore, when we develop this expression, we have a first order differential equation which you can rewrite in terms of terminology as this. Because you know y prime is synonymous with dy dx. You can write that as this. And these are both equivalent expressions. Now you can see exactly what I was alluding to at the very beginning. I have a single constant, it eliminated, and I have here a first order differential equation because here the order is everything here to the power of one. You can see it's d1y and dx to the power of one. It's first order, meaning it's a first order derivative. It's a first order differential equation. But we don't need to put these ones because they're understood to be ones. And that right there is your differential equation generated from an expression. Differential equation, as I told you, will have an independent variable, a dependent variable, and one or more derivatives of y with respect to x, and that's exactly what you have. So this example has been completed. Why you're doing this? Well, we're not talking about that right now. We're only talking about forming a differential equation for future study because all of this will have practical application. Example number two, y is equal to x plus ax. We have an expression here. When you're looking at an expression for the purposes of forming a differential equation, the first thing in your mind should be how many constants do I see? Because the number of constants you have will be the number of differential steps you will take or derivative steps you will take. Generally, that would be the rule. I have one, I will take one single derivative. I can do a derivative of this entire expression and you know it's not hard, the derivative part is not hard. You'll have here dy dx coming from here is equal to one plus a. That's exactly what you'll have. You can do some manipulation, algebraic manipulation, dy or dx minus one is equal to a this right here you can express this initial expression with this new information you have by means of a substitution y is equal to x plus right here dy over dx minus one which you can re-symbolize as y prime minus one times x you see y is equal to x plus ax a was equal to this y prime minus one which is synonymous with exactly what you see over here open that up y is equal to x plus x y prime minus x and look this cancels out with that y is equal to x y prime you take everything on the other side you can x y prime minus y is equal to zero looks very familiar to what we just did in terms of example one but this right here is your differential equation you can rewrite it x dy or dx minus y is equal to zero here it is. You had something which in terms of a original expression had a single constant. You did your formation of a differential equation procedure and you developed a differential equation. You have an independent variable, dependent variable, and you have your derivative here with respect to x. And that right there is a classic differential equation. And again, look at this. You have a first order because you've only done your derivative procedure once. You have a derivative here with respect to its exponents of one degree. And this is a first order differential equation. We should look at some more examples over here. Let's look at this specific example now. When you're looking at this, you're looking here at an expression which has your y, x, it has constants. You're not seeing anything here with regards to a differential equation because you don't have 
within this single expression a derivative with respect to x you just don't see that terminology or that notation in here at all so you don't have a derivative you don't have a differential equation but what you do have is an equation or an expression which would represent something significant you have constants how many constants do you see i see two i see one constant here one constant here which means I can do at least two differential steps or I can do two derivative steps and you can start with one. When you do the derivative of all of this, you're going to get derivative of y will be just this or you can say dy over dx, which you can just say dy over dx is equal to you do the derivative of this expression. C, the constant will stay as is. Derivative of cosine x is a minus sine x. I brought the minus out here. The derivative of sine x with its constant is a positive cosine x, nothing else changes over here. And that's exactly the outcome of your first derivative procedure, right over here. Because I have two constants, I can do it again. When you do the derivative of this entire expression, you can develop a second order derivative and it will look something like this. Because now I'm doing a derivative of a derivative, I have this notation developed. When I'm doing the derivative of this minus c sine x, what is it that I see? The derivative of this is going to be a minus c cosine x because the derivative of sine x is again a cosine x. d cosine x is what? It's going to be a positive d sine x because the derivative of a cosine is a minus sine. It negates that sine and that's exactly what you see. But when you're looking at something like this and you compare it to something over here, you're seeing a, a good trend over here. This looks exactly like that, except everything here is multiplied by a negative. If I were to take this expression here and multiply it by a minus 1, I would end up seeing just this. So I'm seeing a pattern which exists between my y and between my second order expression over here. And what is that? Everything is here with regards to a multiplying by a minus 1. Take this, multiply by minus 1, you'll end up with exactly this. And that gives you your differential equation. Your differential equation is basically this, is equal to right over here. Your second order derivative with respect to x is always equal to, in this particular instance, with everything you have involved, the constants, the variables, your original equation times minus. If you were to take this on the other side, you'll have a y prime plus y is equal to zero. And that right there would be your differential equation. You can clean it up and write it in a different way. And the other different way would be right here, d square y over dx square plus y is equal to zero. And this here is another way of expressing that same item, your second order. This right here is your second order differential equation because you have here a powers of two. You're seeing twos over here or you're seeing two over here, two primes. This here is a second order differential equation. And that's exactly what it is. It required two derivative procedures, two derivative steps to get to your equation. And look over here, the, the constants are eliminated. You have constants here, C and D, but you don't see a constant here. When you form a differential equation, you have eliminated the constants. Your expressions will only contain a possible independent dependent variable and your derivatives with respect to x, but you're not going to see constants in there. We can look at one more example for the purposes of this video, forming a differential equation, and then we can be good with that. Let this represent our fourth and last example. We have this y is equal to d x e to the x. If we have to convert this into a differential equation, this expression is not too hard. We have a single constant. We can do a single derivative step. You would do the derivative step of this entire expression and you would generate a dy dx, which you know to be synonymous and equal to that. You would do the derivative of this with the constant push outside. You have a product of two functions and you know you can bring in the product rule. You'll have the f and the g function going to the product rule template. You'll have e to the x times the derivative of the f function plus the f function times the derivative of the g function. And that's exactly what you have. You can say here dy over dx is equal to d and then derivative of x is just a 1 plus x derivative of e to the x is e to the x. Now it seems like we're stuck over here but technically we're not because if you look here the original expression and you solve for the d, solve for the d variable d is equal to y divided by x e to the x. You know that, you see it. It's just algebraic manipulation. This right here you can bring right over here in terms of a substitution. dy over dx is equal to the substituent for d, which is y divided by x e to the x, and you're multiplying by all of this. And then you can do a distributive opening over here. You'll multiply across 
when you open this up, this e to the x will cancel out because you're multiplying here, then you're multiplying here, the e to the x will cancel out, you'll have y over x. Then here, you have x e to the x, x e to the x, they'll cancel out, and you'll just have a y. dy over dx is equal to y over x plus y. That's what we have so far, dy over dx is equal to y over x plus y. Do a common denominator. dy over dx is equal to y plus xy over x. That's exactly what you have. Cross multiply that x onto the other side. And what I can do over here is do this x dy over dx is equal to isolate y from here. I'll have 1 plus x. And that right there, it would be your first order differential equation because you have a derivative here with respect to x of a, an order of 1 as you would say right here, order of 1. You can rewrite that as this x y prime is equal to y 1 plus x and this is your first order differential equation rewritten in a different way. Some would choose to take this on the other side and you can rewrite it in terms of an equation which equals zero. You can just do x dy over dx minus y parentheses one plus x is equal to zero. That right there is also another way of writing it. Generally you can write your di differential equations and make them equal to zero. Push everything onto the other side of the equal sign and that right there would be a good answer. All of these, in my opinion, are good answers. They're just all expressing the same thing, just rewritten algebraically in a different way. And that right there is the essence of forming a differential equation. If you have an expression here with a single constant, you'll have a first order differential equation because here your derivative with respect to x will be a first order. If you have two constants, you'll have a second order. You'll have something here with the order of two. It'll be a second order derivative. You can imagine if there are three constants, then you'll have a third order differential equation but here we looked at one single expression question which developed into a second order differential equation then the remaining three were first order but that right there is the essence by eliminating the constant you're going from an expression into a, a differential equation your differential equation will be expressed in terms of independent dependent variables and a derivative of y with respect to x and that right there is your differential equation formed and that's it for this particular video. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye.